Well, it's my turn now. Back on farm kitchen challenge duty and I've been challenged this week to make an onion tart by Sarah Comish, who is from the, she's the secretary of the Southern District Agricultural Society. Uh, she and her family farm out in Arbury Parish in Grenoble and Ronig. Uh, there's Sarah herself, there's her husband Chris, uh, there's Jess and there's Heidi as well. And Sarah and Heidi were the ones that challenged me to make this onion tart last week. They've given me a scotch of fantastic ingredients, obviously all local. Let's take a look and see what we've got. Okay, well, I say all local. Of course, there are certain things that we don't quite get over here yet. We don't, I don't think anyone yet makes white wine vinegar, but we'll get there. We'll get there in the end. So we do have some fabulous onions. These are from Sheila Gorn at Farmer's Den. Uh, we're also going to be using Manx Vintage Cheddar from Isle of Man Creamery. It's one of my favourite cheeses ever. Uh, some salted dairy butter from the Creamery as well. Some laxy plain flour. We need some sugar in there. Uh, they've even provided me the salt and pepper. Look at this absolutely brilliant uh, so I've got the recipe up here ready to follow look there it is I'm ready to go but you'll notice on here one of the first things I have to do and it says it's very important freeze the butter for an hour before I start so I better go and put the butter in the freezer and then I'll be back with you shortly so what I've discovered is there are a few things that need sort of prepping in advance with this. As I said, the butter had to go in the freezer for an hour. So I've done that and I've just taken it out. Also, as is quite often the case with pastry, the pastry needs to be rested for a short time before it's cooked as well. So I'm gonna make that now and then put that to one side, put it in the fridge for half an hour, just so that's then ready to, to cook as well. I don't know why we do these things, I'm not the chef, how it is, but I just follow the instructions. Right, I've got my butter, I've measured it. So I've got the four ounces of butter here. I'm kind of crouching so you can see what I'm doing. Grater, this is the, the beauty of having frozen butter. You can grate it into the flour. So I've got my Manx flour and salt in here. I've never done this before. Hey, it works. Look at that. Isle of Man Creamery's butter, grating. You could say it's great. So there we have the flour, the salt, and the grated butter. So I'm just gonna bring it together with some water. And then the top tip is to try and mix it as much as possible just with the fork and try not to handle it too much. Uh, and then of course we're gonna bind it together, wrap it in cling film, put it in the fridge for half an hour, and I'm then gonna get on with the onions. Here are the beautiful onions from Sheila Gorn at the farmer's den. I'm going to start chopping them in just a moment. But first, I need my trusty onion cutting companion, <laughs> onion goggles. Hi, welcome to my world in the kitchen. <laughs> if I don't put these on when I'm cutting onions, the pain in my eyeballs is extreme and you would have a bit too much salt in the mixture because I would be crying into it, I can tell you that now. So right, I'm prepared now, I'm gonna crack on. Chopping away. Where are my onion gargles? My word, Sheila, go on, what do you put in these onions? <laughs> I think the fact I had to reattach one of the arms recently because they broke, proves they're not really working. Um, Oh, ow, <laughs> quite a lot of pain right now. I can tell you a quick fix if you also suffer from onion eyes. Uh, paper towel, actually, kitchen towel. If you just hold it against your eyes, which I can't really open at the moment. Oh, isn't that attractive? Um, it does actually stop it stinging. I need to go do that now, I'll be back. Oh, this was a day to be wearing waterproof mascara, I tell you. I've done it, it's fine, the, the onions are ready. I've now got to, uh, I'm gonna, while these are cooking, I'm gonna do things like grate the cheese, uh, get that ready to lay over the pastry. And just a little handy hint, we need six ounces of cheese, which is essentially half a block of this, because that's about 12 ounces. Just put the white wine vinegar um, and a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar into the onions. They're looking and smelling amazing. The trick is trying not, trying not to let them brown. Um, so I've got them on quite a low heat here, but they smell fantastic. Ta-da! It worked and everything. So that's been in the fridge for half an hour, settling. Um, I'm gonna roll it out. This, interestingly, this doesn't go in a pie dish like a flan dish or anything. This, this is one of those, this is, I think it's like a French onion tart. 
but Manx. Um, and it goes on like a baking tray or a flat surface. So it's going to be kind of rectangular. That's the way I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, so I'm going to roll this out rectangularly and then put the cheese on, put the onions on. Um, yeah, put it in the oven and hope it works. I just remembered something I've got. I'm going to add a secret ingredient. I have a tin of these Versa herbs, the very first ever Manx herb blend collected and dried and put together by Pippa at Versa. So I've just put a little bit over the cheese. I think it'll be really lovely, but we'll see. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It looks a bit of a mess. <laughs> I'm not the best at pastry, you can probably tell. But you know, when it comes out of the oven, it'll look like it's been on MasterChef, honestly. I can smell something amazing in the kitchen. It's been, the uh, onion tart's been in for about the right amount of time, so I'm just gonna check it now, see if it's ready. Okay, here we go, people. Oh, by the way, my leftover pastry. <laughs> I thought I'd turn it into a little mini cinnamon cinnamon thing so I've got brown sugar and cinnamon there that's going to have to go back in for another few minutes but I think I'm going to declare this pretty much done partly because I've got to get to work that was where I pulled it apart to see if it was ready oh dear it looks like it's been massacred <laughs> this is not the prettiest pastry dish I'm really sorry Sarah but I'm sure it's very tasty and look because I made it smaller I've got loads of onions left over so I might make an onion soup out of those later well I'm going to bring it to work with me let Howard be the judge. Sorry, Howard, this is coming your way. Yeah, well, it's here. Oh, it's got a fantastic smell. It really does. Well. Shall I pass you over another bit? So yes, you can, please. You it's can describe how it tastes wow. while you're eating That's it. Generous. Okay, marvellous. Do you want to stand back from the microphone? No, because it, we want the video to pick it up. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. I've got a mouthful now. It is absolutely delicious, I must admit. I will make this myself because it's, as you say, you've really got that lovely caramely sweetness of the onions. And of course, you don't always think of onions being sweet, but they really are sweet with that brown sugar and the caramelising as well. Just really gives it a lovely sweet edge. You've got a sort of nice savoury note with the sort of cheesy back note. Mm -hmm. And then just a delicious, and I know you've been, been a bit down on your pastry, but the flavour <laughs> and the consistency is great. But it's really short, really buttery, totally delicious. Mm -hmm.